Today's story is Ho Ho Homework by Melissa Larson, illustrated by Taya Morley. Thank you, Harper, an imprint of Harper Collins Publishers, for permission to read today's story. Ho Ho Homework. For weeks, Jack looked out every window he passed, waiting for snow, wishing, but there was not one flurry, not even a flake. On this morning, Jack felt hopeful. There's lots of clouds today, said his friend Rosa. I bet it will snow today. Maybe, said Jack, but it didn't. When they got to school, no one was paying attention to the weather. All anyone could talk about was the new substitute teacher. Look at his beard, said Rosa, and his boots, said Leo. But Jack wasn't sure. Just because he has a white beard doesn't mean it's him. Hello, my name, Mr. Clausen. Cut strips, put a dot of glue on one end, glue the ends together. Well, that looks like a fun chain. Jack did notice that Mr. Clausen was more patient than most teachers. When Houdini got out, Mr. Clausen When Houdini got out, Mr. Clausen's big laugh left most of the kids wide-eyed. I don't know, Jack, said Leo. It sounded a lot like ho 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 to me. But Jack still wasn't sure. At lunch, Jack and Leo poked in through the window of the teacher's lounge. Cookies and milk, reported Leo. So what, said Jack. Everybody likes cookies. That doesn't mean anything. Jack, said Leo, the cookies were shaped like reindeer. During quiet time, the kids kept a close eye on Mr. Clausen. Why is he making socks? Jack whispered to Rosa. Stockings, Jack, said Rosa. Those are stockings. Mr. Clausen did seem to be making a whole lot of lists. During science, Jack got looks from all over the room. So we like sleds, said Jack. Everybody likes sleds. Not teachers, said Leo, not that much. That afternoon, Mr. Clausen taught everyone how to make paper snowflakes. Make a snowflake and write a wish on the back, he said. That's your homework. The next day, Mr. Clausen talked to the class about wishes. Everybody hung their snowflakes all over the room. Everyone, except Jack. But as Jack looked around the classroom, even he had to admit that things were pretty cheerful. Some kids were decorating Houdini's cage. Tim and Evan were getting along, and that never happened. Mr. Clausen was doing the Jingle Bell Shuffle. It was nice. It was almost merry. At the end of the day, Mr. Clausen walked out with the kids to say goodbye. Wow, said Rosa. That is a really big backpack. It was. Just a minute, said Jack. This is for you. Why, thank you, Jack, said Mr. Clausen. And just for an instant, Jack thought Mr. Clausen's eyes twinkled. That evening, Jack taught his sisters how to cut out snowflakes. He was really patient. On Christmas Eve, he helped them put out milk and cookies. Then he showed them how to do the jingle bell shuffle. As he lay in bed that night, Jack thought and thought about his wish. On Christmas morning, Jack opened one eye and looked out his window. Then he opened both eyes wowed. Come and see, come and see, he shouted. And that day, the whole neighborhood enjoyed Jack's wish especially Jack. My wish is snow. 
You can make a paper snowflake too. The end.